Now this is a dipole antenna. If you rotate it in this direction, this is the azimuth plane or the E-plane plot of antenna. Using polarization connector, you can rotate the antenna vertically and rotating the antenna in this plane is elevation plane or H plane plot of the receiving antenna. Always try to keep the transmitting antenna as dipole because this is a standard antenna and the readings, the difference of readings will correspond to the gain of antenna. Say like 60 is the reading that we had got using two dipole antenna in azimuth plane and an increase in reading from 60 say like to 60 to 63 is the corresponding gain of that particular antenna in dbd so suppose 62 is the reading so 2 dbd is the gain of that antenna now this is the end fire antenna uh, this is a lambda by 2 phase array this will start giving gain in the board side direction which is in end fed direction now as this is vertically polarized so we will keep the transmitting antenna vertically polarized and rotating the antenna in this plane you get maximum reading in this direction and less reading in the broadside direction try to keep the antenna at lambda by 2 because this is lambda by 2 this is also lambda by 2 similarly we have uh, lambda by 4 phase array this is uh, end fed this is also a lambda by 4 phase array which is again end fire and this is at much higher frequency around 800 megahertz so keep the frequency at 800 megahertz and keep the dipole antenna in 800 megahertz the lambda by 2 should be 800 megahertz this will have gain in this board side direction whereas less reading or nulls in this direction Similarly, we have one broad side antenna which is again lambda by 2 but at 600 megahertz this is a lambda by 2 broad side array this the board side is 90 degree opposite to what the board side direction we have in end fire array so this will have gain in this direction again the antenna has to be kept in vertical plane and frequency set to 600 megahertz so this will have gain in this direction whereas nulls in this direction so this is a lambda by 2 phase array which is broadside then we have Yagi antenna this is a tuned antenna at 600 megahertz so we will keep the lambda by 2 at 600 megahertz this is a feed element this is the reflector element which is 1 cm if this is a lambda by 4 this is 1 cm more than this lambda by 4 so it is roughly around total of 25 plus 2 which is around 27 and this is 23 again it has to be kept horizontally the transmitting antenna corresponding to the polarization of receiving antenna here and as you can see this is giving a higher reading as compared to dipole once the antennas are tuned properly this is a 3 element Yagi with a feed of 75 ohm if you have a folded feed here the feed the impedance will be 300 ohm and you require instead of 1 is to 1 balloon or 4 is to 1 balloon similarly we have a Yagi 4 element again it has to be tuned in similar fashion the element just back from the feed element is the reflecting element this has to be tuned at 600 mega that is lambda by 2 this is again higher this is again 1 centimeter lower so it is around 23 centimeter and this will be 21 so this will have slightly higher gain than Yagi 3 but it could be tuned at some different frequency from 600 so after proper tuning you will receive a good reading this is Yagi 4 element antenna similarly we have a monopole antenna this is a monopole antenna 
Now the polarization of transmitting antenna again has to be changed to vertical. This has to be tuned at lambda by 4. This can be increased. This is the ground plane of antenna. Now this will give lesser reading as compared to dipole and it will have an omnidirectional pattern in azimuth plane. Now this is the end fed or a zeppelin antenna again a vertical polarized because it is being fed from this end and there is no other element so this so it's called end fed it can be used for FM receiving FM stations tune the system for FM station increase the volume and you can listen to any FM station from 88 to 108 megahertz Then we have cross dipole antenna, if you see this is lambda by 2, this is again lambda by 2 and this is a right handed circular polarized cross dipole so it will have a polarization clockwise and it is tuned at 800 megahertz so the transmitting antenna has to be kept at 800 megahertz and frequency also to 800 megahertz now rotating the transmitting antenna there will be a very less change because the polarization is circular. Similarly, we have a left hand cross dipole which is LHCP. Now, a linear antenna is unable to distinguish between left or right handed circular polarization. So, we will use helix antenna for measuring the polarization discrimination of a circular polarized antenna use a polarization connector and an extender to connect this so that it will be away from the tripod increase the length to lambda by 2 this is the uh, helix antenna this uh, each length has to be at lambda by 4 and the parameter is lambda so after Extending the helix antenna and this corresponds to lambda by 4. This is tuned at 800 megahertz. So now you can see this is a right handed circular polarized helix because it is in clockwise direction. Similarly we have a left handed circular polarized helix which is in anti-clockwise direction. Now a right handed helix and a left handed cross dipole will have less reading because they are anti polarized whereas a right handed helix with a right handed cross dipole is giving a little higher reading after matching the axis and uh, making them a similar line of sight by increasing the height of tripod. So these are helixes at 800 megahertz in axial mode helix. Now similarly uh, we have uh, dipoles which are 3 lambda by 2 and lambda by 4 and lambda by 2. Now as you can see these By increasing the length, by changing the length of dipole and changing the frequency, they can be made to resonate at lambda by 4. Uh, for example, a lambda by 4 dipole at 300 megahertz will be a lambda by 2 dipole at 600 megahertz. And similarly, because the system is variable frequency, so it can be made to n lambda by 4 corresponding to the length. Because we know at lower frequency the length of antenna will be much larger whereas as compared to at higher frequency. Similarly we have a slot antenna. This is a slot antenna at 800 megahertz. Now a dipole antenna again has to be horizontally polarized though the slot is cut vertically through the antenna but it will have a horizontal polarization.
Then we have a sleeve antenna which is at 800 megahertz and is vertically polarized. So keep the transmitting antenna in vertical polarization. This will have an omnidirectional pattern. Similarly, we have a patch antenna. It can be connected using a polarization connector and an extender. Keep it away from extender can be connected like this to keep it away from motor. Now as you can see the polarization in this polarization it is horizontally polarized because it is having much reading whereas in this plane it is vertically polarized. So it has to be kept vertical and as you can see with the increase in reading that the polarization of patch antenna can be fine. Then we have a folded dipole. This is a 300 ohm impedance antenna using a 4S2 well balloon. Again the antenna has to be kept horizontal and the frequency should be 600 megahertz because it is lambda by 2. The length of folded dipole can be increased to make it resonate at lambda by 2 at lower frequencies. Then we have a rhombus antenna. We have to make the angle acute around 30 degrees. This is horizontally polarized and the distance has to be kept more than 2 meters because the far field is much higher as we increase the length of this rhombus antenna. Similarly, we have a square loop antenna. Now this is the horizontal polarization when placed like this at 600 megahertz. Similarly, we have a broadband antenna which is a log periodic antenna. This is a log periodic antenna and as you can see the highest element are lambda by 2 resonant at lower frequency whereas the smallest element are resonant at highest frequency. So this is the array of dipole giving a broadband response from 400 to around 900 megahertz. Then we have a ground plane reflector. If you see, this is a half of Yagi antenna. The elements can be connected. This is a feed element at lambda by 2. This is a reflector element and this is a director element. So if you see it is a half of dipole with a ground plane 